Hi, my name is Matt Flavor, a Principal Consultant with CA Technologies. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure time restrictions for applications in SiteMinder. This time restriction can be used against any resource or application already defined in your SiteMinder environment. It takes just 5 minutes to implement using the admin UI and works completely out of the box. So let's take a closer look at how we do this. So to set up our time restriction, we're going to select the Policies tab, click Global, and first define a global response. Provide a name for the response, enter a short description, and create the response attribute. For the attribute, select Web Agent on Accept Redirect. Then, in the value field, provide the name of the file you wish to redirect to when the time restriction is enforced. Click OK to save this attribute. Then click Submit to save the response. Finally click Close. Now select Global Rules from the sidebar and click Create Global Rule. Provide the name of the agent and the resource you wish to apply a time restriction for and on Access Accept for the action. Click Submit to save the rule. Click Close. Now define the global policy we need. Click Create Global Policy. Enter a name and a short description. For now, we'll uncheck the Enable checkbox so the policy can't fire. Now click the Rules tab. Select Add Rule. Select the time rule we have already defined. Then click OK. Now the rule has been defined, click Add Response and select the global response we created earlier. Click OK. And finally, Submit to save the change. Now click Close. Now we have created a global rule to restrict application access, let's define the times we want to block access. Go back to the global time policy we created, click the modify icon, and click set in the time restriction section to create a time restriction. As you can see by default, all times are selected. Click never fire to clear this default. Now check the times you wish to block access to the application. In this example, we have selected Tuesday between 1 and 4 p.m. to block access. Click OK. Enable the policy and then click Submit to save the change. Now let's test this on our web agent. If we attempt to log in during a restricted time, we are redirected back to the page defined in the response, as you can see here. So, let's remove the time restriction. The restriction has now been cleared, so let's test the web agent again. And as you can see, this time we've been granted access to the application because the time restriction has been cleared. 
And that is how we can define a time restriction for any SiteMinder application. Thanks for watching this video.